holidays with folks eating in a fancy dining car, probably drinking coffee and smoking a big cigar. Corpsey at the Federal. I'm here with Tanya Kay, who's running this amazing burlesque event tonight. Tanya, what the hell are we doing? The models are pinup modeling with all of the cars. Corpsey's here. Corpsey's so here. So you know the party's already started. There's beautiful uh, classic cars. We're about to be arrested, which is nice because there's a lot of girls <laughs> out here. Now, there's no clothes off in the parking lot, but pretty soon inside, what are we going to see? Pasties? What what happens in there? A retro burlesque show and pole champion show. You have never seen pole dancers like this. They are champions, like this one right here. Is I'm this a, a champion? champion? Yes, she just won the Arnold yeah. International. Not the Arnold. Yes. The Arnold. The Arnold. Arnold. This one. Wow. Do you burlesque around the country? Or what do you call yourself? A burlesque, a dancer, burlesque dancer? I'm a trained dancer. I'm a burlesque headliner. I'm a specialty artist and I'm the most dangerous woman in Hollywood. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Why you... That 65 Buick Riviera over there, that's yeah. purple, that's mine. That is awesome. I drive car. fast cars, I throw knives, I crack bull whips, I play with fire, I pole dance. What could be more dangerous? Wrestling alligators. I don't know what's left. That Done was it. everything. Hey, it's Corpsey, Girls and Corpses magazine. And I just came across this beautiful girl in the parking lot staring at my hearse. What is your name? My name is Robin. Now, you're a pinup model, right? I, for this evening, I am. Have you ever heard of Girls and Corpses magazine? No, I have not. And I'm going to hand one to you. Okay. See how much it freaks you out. So there it is. It's beautiful girls and rotting corpses and no nudity in the magazine. So it's really like Maxim meets The Walking Dead meets Mad Magazine. Do any of those appeal to you? Um, do, yes. Do you like zombies? Sure. Yeah, who doesn't like zombies? Who doesn't like zombies? Would you be in Girls and Corpses magazine? Is that something you aspire to? Well, That's my favorite answer ever. It depends on how many drinks would be involved. Okay, so what are we going to see tonight? Fill us in. Uh, you're going to see beautiful, talented, strong, and sexy women. Uh, burlesque dancing, pole dancing, singing. It's fabulous. Pasties, sequins, skimpy. Skimpy. But tasteful. Now, you said you're a dancer. Do you Have you ever danced the pole? For fitness. For fitness. <laughs> So you're not you're not stripping on the weekends in between your makeup jobs, right? No. <laughs> and I'm here with one of the dancers. What's your name? My name is Candace Kane. And you are a pole dancer instructor. That I am. I compete, perform, teach anything involving the pole. I probably do it. So you make a muscle. Is that from pole dancing? Yes, indeed. How much of the clothing are you wearing right now that's going to come off your body? Everything. I like the show. I haven't seen the show, but I like it. Do you have pole dancing parties ever? Just girls? Yes, like, we do. Absolutely. Do you get, do you, do you strip down? I'm, th this is starting to sound really interesting. Do you have like private naked pole dancing parties with girls? Yeah, that does happen. What do you do to get ready for a show? We do a lot of stretching, a lot of warming up of the shoulders. Oh, Can you do that with your back to the camera? Do that with your butt to the camera? Yeah. What would your butt say about this show? You don't do that naked tonight. No, no. You, I don't have to get my point across. You just did. Mm -hmm. Do you wear a G-string? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a merkin is? Oh my God, yes. Wait, but we don't yeah. tell her. Don't, don't tell her. Uh, do you want me to tell you? No, no, no. Merkin. Let's see. Merkin. Let me see if I can describe it. I can tell you the root of merkins. Back in the 1500s, when people all had syphilis and major STDs, they used to cover their problems with a merkin. That area was covered by a oh. wig. A wig? It's a, a wig for your crotch. It's a, it's wig. a wig for your crotch. It's a wig for your crotch. We're going to have a little Merkin booth. Uh, we're going to we'll be doing fittings later, so maybe you can come by. <laughs> 
super I, fitting. I spend good money to not have a merkin. As as you can. areas deserve like special extra attention, and those get a wax, and everything else gets a shave. Can we film later of uh, the uh, shaving? Oh, um, mm, from um, behind. Thanks, mom. Uh, we're gonna see them take things off, and it's gonna be fun, and we're gonna see their merkins. All right. <laughs> hey, you gotta come down here to see this show with Tanya K. You're gonna love it. You're, You're gonna, gonna love it. everything we do here. There's boobies all over the place. Boobies. There's cute, strong butts. We're all in 1955 to 1965 styling, and I'm Bad Betty. Well, that's it from Tanya Kay's Pinup Pull Show. I'm Corpsey, Girls and Corpses Magazine. Thank you for staying tuned and come see the show. It's unbelievable.